hello everyone i am back with another video today i am showing you some tips and tricks of the ios the new ios 14 most important feature that i'll cover is the back tap and the picture in picture so let's get into it first i'll show you something about the new widgets if you swipe left then you will see the screen this is the widget screen and there are a lot of new widgets that you see and the best part is you can now add them to your home screen just hold tap and hold your home screen just like you delete any app and now voila you can add a smart stack to it so this what i've added is a smart stack whereby uh whereby you know it you can swipe up and down and edit what you want to see in the stack so there is series suggestions there is weather calendar then there are photos and music whatever whatever uh, you feel is good for you and this is the first thing you can also as i said uh, change the size of the stack if you want to you can remove it let's say add a new stack let's say i add a smart stack but i need this size of a stack so I add that size so that you can have more apps on the screen if you want now if you see at the bottom there are these dots if i click on those these are the number of windows that i have currently or the screens that i have currently on my phone if i if i just select just the one home screen and I click on done and when I go to the right I see the app library app library is basically all your apps stacked neatly by the iOS you can uh, you can now search for whatever you want to or if you click on the big icons it will go in the app if you click on the small icons you you'll see the number of apps that are there so mm, this is what <coughs> I can do and so these are all the apps that are available currently if you click as i said if you click on any of the big apps it will go on big, big icons it will go directly in the app and if you just swipe down as if, if you pull it down then all your apps will be neatly stacked alphabetically so now this was about your this is called a jiggly okay anyways that's the term app apple uses now let's talk about the tap feature now tap feature now if you go in settings then you go in accessibility and touch and on the bottom you see back tap back tap is a very good feature so two taps let's say for two taps i click lock screen and for triple tap i take a screenshot now I'll be taking, I'll be tapping three times on the screen, on, on the back of the screen. Voila, it just takes a screenshot. So this is a very good feature, very, very well, very good feature that Apple has given. Now the most important part, the picture in picture. How does that work? Currently, only YouTube is supported. Uh, sorry only netflix is supported youtube is not uh, supported directly by app but there is a way around if you go to youtube on your safari just play the video make sure it is in full screen you have to make sure that the video is in full screen and just swipe up that's it that's it now if you if you saw uh, I had to make sure that the video is in full screen and then swipe up the video this is the picture in picture it will go anywhere in the screen if you want to you can you can maybe increase go back to where you were again if you play it, you can come. Uh, and if you if you use your two fingers and you pinch it or pinch out you can uh, reduce or increase the size of it so yeah this is the picture in picture uh, for the youtube again i'll show you go to youtube through your safari 
play the video and full screen this is all you have to do now similarly for netflix you need to go to the app say netflix select what you want to play here's running their development and swipe up but as if you saw my 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 video was not playing so I have to play it, and then, then swipe up, became head of consumer product and that was the this is how uh, the picture in picture will work for the netflix so these are the most important features yes one more thing i'd like to show you is in messages you can pin your chats so whatever chat you want to pin you can just pin them to whoever whoever you talk to the most your groups or whatever and uh, yeah a lot of good features a lot of good memojis have uh, have come not just emojis but yeah memojis now you can search for emojis as well let's say i write bird that's it i can search for emojis it's a very good thing while uh, sending anyone a message so yeah i mean let me know what you guys want to understand more and i'll be happy to give you more information if you like the video please share and subscribe